Off we go. So if you have a mat as usual, it's always a little bit nicer on your body, but you don't have to at all. We're just going to take a deep breath in and take your shoulders all the way up to your ears. And deep breath out. And again, up all the way up and down with the arms this time. All the way up and down. And again, all the way up and down. Today we're going to go straight away onto your force. We're going to do loads of work on our back, which is something that um, was requested by a few students to improve our best. So um, our best is when you go all the way up on one leg. So to get the leg a little bit higher, you need to have a really strong back. So that's what we're going to work on today. So we're going to start on our fours and we're just going to so make sure your core is engaged. Yeah, my top is a bit loose, but you should have your belly button coming towards your spine. We're going to round the back and then do a big cat stretch and round the back again. And a cat stretch with our pelvis and our head coming up. And our belly button come towards our spine to stretch between the shoulder blades. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Let's do it one last time. Round back and Stretch. We're going to stretch a little bit forward into our child's pose. So our sitting bones are towards our heels and we're stretching the back. From there, we're going to go on our tummy. We're going to try to keep the legs nice and long. And we're going to slowly stretch no need to go too high for now, just with a stretch. Push with your hands and down. And again, all the way up. You should start engaging your core a little to support the movement all the way up from here. Try to see if you can take your hands off. And down. Let's try again one last time. We go all the way up. Excellent. And then try to take your hands off as I let someone else in the meeting. Here we go. From here, we're going to put our hands on our forehead and we're going to go up and down. Make sure the shoulders are down. We're going to do it 10 times. Up, up, and down, down. Up, up, and down, down. Five. Don't forget to breathe. Long legs. Deep breath. Three more. And two. And last one. Then our forehead comes to the floor and we're just going to lift only the legs. So ready? Ten times as well. Just the leg. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven, eight, and nine, and ten. From there, so sorry, that's my cat who is cotton and is completely wet. Ah, no! Um, let's do legs and heads. Let's go one and two and three. And four, and five, 
and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. On the tenth one, stay here. From here, we're gonna take our arms up to fifth position, all the way up, and we're just going to go down and up. Just the arm, down and up. And three, and four. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Six, seven, keep pushing. Eight, and nine, and ten, and come down. We're going to relax a little bit. In our child's pose. Deep breath. Relax the back, all the legs. And we come back. Again, on our toe. From here, you can have your um, forehead on your hands again. We're going to take one leg and go up and up and up and down. Switch. Up, 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 down, and up, 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 down, and up, 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 down. One more time. And three, and down, and again. Two, three, and down. And again, up, long leg, keep pulling your belly button towards your spine, up, up, down last time, up, up, as high as you can, and last time, good, again, we're going back to child's pose, having a little stretch, Make your shoulder blades full to the side, long, wide back. And we're going to go to our fours. Um, so from here, make sure again, your back is nice and long. We're going to take, the core is engaged the whole time, same thing, one leg, one arm. So there's a little bit of a um, challenge on your balance. So right here, and we pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch, opposite arms and left. One, two, keep the core engaged. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, switch again. Make sure you're balancing one long spine, shoulders away from the ears. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch. Two, three, four, five, six, don't let the belly button come down, keep engaging. Last time we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep pulling, and ten. Back onto your child's pose. Back on our tummy. We're going to keep that opposition we just worked on and we're going to pedal. So as one leg goes down, the opposite arm goes up and we go. And splash, 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 splash. Opposition. Keep going, keep breathing. Long back, long head. Faster, 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 faster. Stay, 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 stay. 
Again, 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 again. And down. Push back. So all of those exercises, hopefully, should have made, especially your lower back, much stronger at holding the legs up. Now we're going to uh, stretch now um, to make sure we're not feeling it too much tomorrow. So for this one, a few solutions depending on how you feel with your knees. Either we can take it like this, yeah, so um, knees and toes together, or knees above the knee. For some people, one position might feel a little bit more uncomfortable than the other. So do pick the one that is the most comfortable for you, but also offers a deeper stretch. So for me, this is definitely this one. Whichever position you are, you want both of the sitting room to be right on the floor. So you really don't want to have one um, of your sitting room go up. You're going to stretch the spine, shoulders down, and you're going to pitch the body forward. So you should feel the stretch on that top leg all the way up to your sacrum and your sitting bones. And we stay here and we breathe. And we try to relax. Try not to round the back, you want one long spine. Yeah, you won't stretch anything if you round it. So make sure it's in one piece going down. Good, keep moving. Excellent. From there, when you're ready, let's do the other leg. Make sure you sit right up, long back, ribs in, and we push forward. Keep breathing, relax around the joints, let the muscle relax. Feel the stretch. Keep moving. It's not a position, it's a permanent dynamic movement when you're constantly engaged. Good. From here, we're going to take one leg to the front into a 90 degree angle or a little bit lower and then we're going to stretch the back leg yeah so it's going to stretch slightly differently make sure you try to have your hip coming down as much as you can yes from here if you can you can move on to your elbows and stretch forward that's not so much for your arabesque but that's more to stretch the muscle we have been using that's definitely a little bit more for your developing form if you want high leg to the front. Don't forget to breathe. And then when we're ready, we're going to switch legs. So, take the other leg to the front. Long leg behind, making sure the hip is down, and we've got one long spine. And you can pitch forward if you feel like it. You can also stay right up here if you prefer. Right. From there, we're going to start engaging the core a little bit and we're going to do one minute plank. So for the plank, make sure you're one long line from your heel 
to the top of the head. Let me just get a minute timer ready for us. Here we go. Long legs and off we go. Breathing. Keep pushing. Don't let the core drop. Make sure it's constantly engaged. Your pelvic floor is lifted. You push through the forearm to lift out of the elbow. We've got 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees down and stretch over the knees. All right, so from here, we are going to work uh, on our back now. We're gonna go on our backs. Now, easier version is to let the opposite leg be down on the floor. Harder version, you take it up. Make sure your shoulders are down, your arms are relaxed, and then we're going to go down and up and down and up eight times three four five make sure the back is long six seven and eight switch we go one two shoulders down three four Five, six. Remember, you can always put the other leg down. And last one, eight. Bring your knees to your chest. Relax the back. From here, we're going to do some stretching. It's a bit like we've done last week. So instead of just stretching the legs, towards us, we're going to push our hands, so make sure your hands are somewhere you feel comfortable uh, pushing against, as if you wanted the leg to go back down. So it could be here, it could be there, try to avoid in the area, should your open health, is quite a good shout. Now instead of bringing the leg towards us, we're going to push against our hand, as if we wanted to make it go lower, this is going to um, engage the muscle, and as we release it, it should be able to go a little bit further down. So ready, we're gonna go push. Or five, four, three, two, one, release. And push, 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 release. And push again. Three, four, five, release. And last time, one, two, three, four, five, release. From here, just make sure you go a little bit across the body and away from the body, just so you have a little bit of a range in your hip. Take the knee. Make it do a little circle one way and the other way. And let's switch leg. So we take the other leg up, grab it out of where you feel comfortable, and we're going to push as if we wanted to lower it for five seconds. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, and lower. Again, push. Four, 
three, two, one, and let's go. Again, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Last time, five, four, push, 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 release. Take it across, take it away, across, away, bend the knee, lift circle one way, and circle the other way. All right, one very last thing for our best. Back on our fours, we're going to stretch one leg and kick up. So we're going to do 10 times on each leg. Let's go. Try if you can to turn out so the knee goes to um, the side, but your hip stays down so you don't open. Yeah, let's go. One, two, three, four. Don't let go of the core. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release over the knees. Sit down when you're ready. Just raise your legs to the front. From here, we're going to either flex. Point or just simply release, turn off your leg as you prefer. We're going to take the same stretch we took at the beginning, and we're going to release on our legs. Relax the back, you can go from one side to the other. If you're as far as you think you can go, just concentrate on bringing the elbows down. Yes, so I try to go far forward. And then I release only then my back. Make sure the neck is not tense, you can still not low. And yes. And slowly, one vertebra at a time. So head is last, your chin is to your chest. All the way up as we're going to stretch again, all the way up, moving forward and releasing. Deep breath here, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, rolling the back up, all the way up. And this last, feel tall, as if you had a little string, putting up your hair, making you feel a long, long back. From there, we're going to open the legs as wide as you want. However, do not sit back, yeah? So if you are a little bit shorter, having a smaller V, but you're right on top of your season, but you're going to get a deeper stretch, yes? Yeah? So don't make um, you want to have like a perfect split to the side, make you feel like the back turning your leg. Yeah, what we want is our knee to be up to the ceiling, our legs to be engaged with right on our sitting bone, and we've got that long back we've just discussed. We're going to go to one side. Good, make sure you're not lifting. Pull down through the opposite hip. So we get as deep a stretch as possible. And from there, all the way up and on to the other side. Weight on that hip, pulling you down, anchoring you as you stretch. And coming back to the needle. From here, we're not going to crawl out today. We're going to try to do it, lose our control, one arm back, and we're going to pitch forward. And go back up. 
and again forwards. As low as you can to control and back up. And forward, control, control, control. Don't let go. Go as low as you can without losing that control. Two more times. Down. And up. Last time. Stay, stay, stay. And release. Deep breath. If you went up here, it's okay. Just make sure you concentrate on when you breathe out, going a little deeper every time, feeling a comfortable stretch in your hip. You can move as well, it's not a static position if you want to lift a bit that hip so it feels like you're right on your sitting bone. That's completely fine. And here we go. Now we're not going to have time to go through the whole series for the split that we've been doing. So what we're going to do is either stretch into that position with our um, leg at an empty degree angle and um, stretching the hip flexor. Or if you feel more comfortable, going up, weight on hands and letting it go for the split. If um, you feel comfortable to do so, but um, the other option with stretching the flexor, you will still achieve greater flexibility if you keep going. And then I promise we'll do the full series another time. I've recorded them anyway, so if you want to access them during the week, you always can. And then moving. Let's do the other leg. So you've got either your right angle, make sure the knee doesn't pass the toes, or the stretch and then down. Yes, if you're here, make sure that you concentrate on greater flexibility, having your pelvis coming down. If we were doing the split, again, you can move around. It's not a static position. Make sure your hips are free. You can um, go forward with your body, or even from here, try a little back bend if you want. Right, let's bring our feet together. One very, very last thing, just looking at the sun. Um, if you need to go because you are taking back this class, please do so. Let's put our feet together. Let's have our knees to the side. Let's do the same thing we've been doing. So pushing against as if you wanted your knee to go up. Let's push, 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 push. Just so we have a little turnout exercise up to last week when we did loads of work on it. And down. And then let's push up. Push, 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 push. And And push, 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 push. And release. Good. All right. So that's it for tonight. Let me pause the recording.